Hello everyone. Good morning and good evening. This is your ALP here. Today we will discuss about uh, renewable energy policies of uh, Gujarat state. Uh, this is uh, recently released. And uh, if you see the policies, they are amazing. So if you see here, uh, this policy uh, covers all major renewables and uh, encourages the uh, setting up of renewable energy generation projects based on wind, solar, and as well as uh, hybrid model also, like uh, wind, solar, and uh, hybrid technologies. This policy's uh, operative period is like five years. So that's the plan currently. So 2023 to 28, uh, till any new policy comes. So you can see here, all rooftop. So the government uh, encourages uh, whatever the capacity, small capacity, medium capacity, doesn't matter. There is no restriction, the restrictions on the how much uh, kilowatts you can uh, set up, uh, okay? And uh, the project covers, uh, it's like a ground-mounted solar and a rooftop solar, floating solar, and a canal top solar, wind, rooftop, wind, and a wind solar hybrid projects. Uh, so this uh, canal top uh, solar is one of the famous uh, in Vadodara uh, and Gujarat areas. Uh, so where uh, canal, uh, canal, entire path of canal uh, passage, is used for uh, generating uh, solar energy. So that land acquisition and all, uh, there won't be any issues. Uh. And also the policy aims to achieve 50% of target of uh, renewable energy capacity by 2030. And uh, it an anticipates that uh, in investments like our uh, 5 lakh road. Uh, and also land utilization would be 4 lakh acres are required for this uh, project. And uh, state's potential of uh, 36 uh, gigawatt of solar and 143 gigawatt of wind capacity are aiming to our harness from it. And also the benefits of policy is applicable for a period of 25 years from the date of commissioning or throughout the lifespan of a renewable energy project. So the project can be set up for captive use, like any cement or any other factories where they can use in their factory, or they can third party sale, they can sell for third party or they can uh, sell to discounts as well. For all the cases uh, and the state nodal agency, GEDA will act as a state nodal agency. And also if you see the policy initiatives, uh, no, like we told, uh, no capacity restriction for setting up of renewable energy projects with respect to the consumer's uh, contracted demand. So there won't be any capacity restrictions. And it is introduced uh, green power supply, 100% renewable energy supply and consumer requisition. Green power supply tariff uh, determined by GERC time to time. There would be certain tariff determined by GERC. Uh, this is a special tariff. Uh, and uh, there is an option for net metering or grass metering available for rooftop, rooftop projects also. Okay. And uh, so grass metering means uh, the, there would be la, uh, enormous amount of losses would be generated. Losses will be there. So small scale wind projects can be installed by consumers on rooftops, uh, small, small scale. Uh, so they're also possible. And uh, settlement of renewable energy against the consumer's consumption shall be carried out on a building cycle basis. Whatever the building cycle is there, uh, uh, based on that, they will be setting up. Uh, energy banking facility on a building cycle basis shall be allowed uh, upon payment of uh, banking charges as determined by the GERC. And also the policy aims to facilitate uh, wind turbine generator manufacturers and renewable energy developers to install a prototype of uh, wind turbine generators. Small, small wind turbine generators, uh, prototypes can be installed. Repowering of wind turbine generators also will be promoted. And also if you see conversion of existing or uh, under construction standalone uh, wind or solar power plants into hybrid projects is also allowed. Uh, we might have already wind, we can add uh, solar there. We might have already solar, we can add a wind there uh, if it is feasible. The policy promotes like uh, renewable energy parks, uh, which includes uh, solar park, wind park, and uh, hybrid park. The renewable energy project may set up on a private land or government waste land allotted by the revenue department or a state nodal agency. And no banking charges shall be applicable on a uh, solar power consumed by residential consumers. And also, state government may allocate government wasteland and concessional rates to renewable energy projects, supplying power to the distribution licenses for the consumers of Gujarat. Cross subsidies, cross subsidies are charged and additional surcharge 
not applicable up to uh, 2028 based on 2025 uh, electricity levels. And also discounts may procure power at a prefixed levelized tar tariff without competitive bidding process from solar projects up to 4 megawatt capacity and for uh, wind projects uh, up to 10 megawatt capacity. That's the plan we have. And the power can be exported uh, out of Gujarat through ISTS uh, connected projects in accordance with applicable rules and regulations of uh, central government and the CERC, right? So it's amazing, right? Let's uh, let's discuss uh, about uh, other states, state state governments, uh, renewable energy projects policies also in the coming uh, sessions. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to this channel. If you have any topics or any points to be discussed, uh, please comment it. Thank you. Do subscribe to this channel for many more updates.